We are live here with Lily. Got two feet in the nose. Good mama. Just resting between contractions here now. Position. There's the full alert. Hey, Mama. Turn off the full alert. So we've got a another spotted baby on the way out. Mama's having a little bit of a rest. See much from here. Good girl. a little bit more time on her own before I go in and assist. We've got the head almost out. There we go. Almost got the shoulders out. Good mama. There you go.
mama. A few more contractions to get out the hips. Oh, goodness. Good girl. So sometimes donkeys will get up and push standing up. I like what's going on here right now? You can't leave, ma'am. You gotta push it out. I have seen this happen with another baby. The hips are a little locked. Mama. <laughs> we got just what Leanna ordered. A spotted little girl. So that's two for two. Two girls, two boys. Good job, Lily. Good, Mama.
Yeah, she had kind of seemed to almost give up on the contractions there for a little bit, and then was just walking around with the baby hanging out, but contractions did start again, and we were able to get little miss out. And she is stinking cute. Yes, she is.
I want to. So I'll step on it if I want. Lily? Hey. You can't step on it. Lily? Please do not. Hey, hey. Oh, you don't need to smush it. She'll get up when she's ready. I don't know, what's mean old mama doing to you? What's mean old mama doing to you? <laughs> She's gonna need a little adjustment. No, oh, I had chiropractor today. The donkey foals we normally keep with the mom until about six months. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Lily's going to be a bit more like Ivy and less like Tulip. Yeah, we've come to discover this year that donkey moms are not like horse moms, and they are quite rough and quite rude in comparison to horses. We've seen them step on their babies and push their babies over, lift them up by the ear, bite at them quite a bit more than horses would, launch them across the stall. They're just kind of rude. She's like, this is fine. I'm like, no. Lily, hey, we'll get up when she's ready. I'm 
side eye me. Yeah, she's pretty stinking cute. No, it's the beta dime. She was squirmy when I put it on, <laughs> so it went everywhere. Do you have any names picked up for this one? No. No. There goes little Senna. Just about. So that's the my water's breaking dance. That's what she did when her water broke. She was like. Sashing side to side. And Mama. So Lily just passed her placenta. leaving the tripod here. Yeah, that's what I noticed too, Jennifer. She did kind of a little dance when she was uh, breaking her water and when the placenta was passing. Um, do you want to hand me the suture scissors? They're in the cabinet there. I'll take that folder now. Yeah, she's like, finally.
so cute. My ears are up. I don't know what time ears went up. Oh, ears up right now. Yeah. So Look at how big they are. Look how nice. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. You pretty girl. Oh, you're all stretched out. Splotted, I think is what they're called, but Eileen, you made it. Good girl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Goodness gracious. Being little and cute. Do not bite its back. Lily, be nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say tulip's the exception. Oh, you got some fluid to pass. It's embarrassing, isn't it? I know, contraction still. Some terrible noises, Mama. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Barbara. Yeah. She doesn't normally dance when she pees, but apparently when she's contracting and doing things, she does. Lily. Be nice to the baby. She's just brand new. Lily. Yeah, nothing's going to eat her. Except for you. Leanna is here. Hi, Lily. Would you like your close up? It's a little Jenny. <laughs> yeah, Lily apparently has places to go and people to see. She wants her little baby up on her feet. Figuring those legs out. Yeah, she's better being that. Mm -hmm. My legs don't work yet. <laughs> They're so long. Um, do we want to give her a little bit of banamine? Um, let's do like two mils. Look at you on your brand new legs. Oh, does it smell funny? And look at those ears. She, I think, got the longest ears. Yeah. Yeah, she was still cramping pretty good, Judy, so good call, giving her a bit of banamine. Everything is passed, the placenta is good. But she's definitely still a little painful. Doing a little dance every time she passes a little bit of fluid when she contracts. Whoop. 
Gotta be careful with those shakes. No tearing that I saw when I took out the full alert. What do you want to brush her off? We gave her two meals, Judy, to start. Come on, little one. Pansy's officially welcoming her, welcoming her to the herd. Yeah, and if you have a list of names, you can send them on over. Leanna doesn't have any pre-chosen for this one. Desert plant themes is what we're going with this year. So the suck reflex is going strong. Now she just needs to find the milk bar. Oh, she's not gonna find it down there. Good girl, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> be a giant. Oh, good job. Desert orchid or desert marigold have been suggestions. Desert rose. Jade. Yucca, sage, or sagebrush. Desert primrose. She looks more like tumbleweed's color, I think, is what she'll end up being. Which now, seeing the two solids and the colors of their mom, I'd say these two are bay duns. Yeah. And then Ivy and Poppy are gray duns. Oh, <laughs> Good luck, kid. May the odds ever be in your favor. Donkeys are a little bit different than horses. We don't 100% understand their colors yet. 
but they can have solids and they can have duns and they can have spotted. So they can have gray dun, which is your standard donkey color that most are. There's bay dun and red dun. And then you can have bay, black, and red at solid bases. And then you can have spotted or max white. I think there's also roaning in donkeys. We don't have any roans. And then there's light points and no light points. The whole herd here all have light points. Two of them are spotted. Now we have two spotted babies. There's the, the woolly ones, which have really long hair. Which Leanna wants. And they are pretty cute. They would be miserable here in the summer, I think, but mm. they would be super cute. Yeah. You probably shouldn't take her out, Lily. And then we were done for the season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the alpacas, yeah. Yeah. They don't count, though. That's not full in season. <laughs> Get yeah. Creating or unpacking. Yeah. Trisha, we're sticking to desert plant theme names. only three days late. Yep. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to do donkeys if they ever went to 14. <laughs> I can deal with just planning for the, the year mark. Llamas are mid-July to mid-August. Well, alpacas, not llamas.
So far, Aloe seems to have the most spunk of all the babies. She's the naughty child. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, good, strong baby. Kind of an awkward angle, kid. Yeah, we'll do some videos of the older babies. That's embarrassing, really. There you go, kid. Mom opened up the milk bar for you. Now it's to lay on the ground. And... Try another approach. No, that's not much time. Easy over there.
ready to run and we haven't found the milk bar yet. Mm -hmm. She's in the right spot. She's just not figured it out yet. <laughs> Flip flopping. <laughs> I'm going to do a somersault here. There. Some of the donkeys are outside now, so they're not on the cameras anymore. Push her back there now. I'd probably direct her towards the milk first. No milk in the neck. Strong. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. I'm coming through. Milk bar back here. Right, I'm just giving up. This <laughs> is how they do it. They're more, <laughs> yeah, they're more bendy than horse foals. on and nursing. So now we'll just make sure she can consistently get the teat. She got her first little taste of milk there. Don't tell me what to do.
no tail swishes. I guess they have to be born stubborn with the way the mothers treat them. Don't take offense to it because this is your life. Oh my goodness. Is that good milk? You got some go-go juice? Thanks, Eileen. She's like almost got goggles around her eyes. <laughs> Just how we're made. This is why you like donkeys so much, Leanna. You were a donkey in a past life. Look at those ears. Just gonna like quite the tips on them too. Go get some milk, kid. would believe it. The amount that comes out of their nose. They seem to be a lot more like fluidy than horses. Um, wrong end, kid. Yep, the Jennies made the babies custom order this year. It was very nice of them. Two boys, two girls, two spotted, two solids. Sounds like she's on, but I can't really see. Yeah, I'm gonna say she was on for a second. Yeah, Lily's teats hang down longer like um, Ivy's and Tulip's do, so she won't have to angle as much as Pat just did. Good job. Second little nurse there. I'm hungry now. Don't push her, Mama. Oh yeah, the mom's got lots of milk. And their third nursing attempt. They're getting lots of milk now.
Wrong end, kid. As of right now, Leanna's decided to take the year off from having babies. So no donkey babies planned for next year. Still. <laughs> you could try laying it on her for a little bit. There's one that's really dry there. Oh, it's me, it's Fanny. I'm cute. Yeah. It's like her left side doesn't really have socks, but the right side has like two high whites. When she, yeah. You guys are all very welcome. We love having you around. Thank you so much, all of you. Love sharing our world. We're pretty lucky we get to live it every day. Spicy. <laughs> they really are faster. They're so fun. Yeah. Oh, the boys are so dumb. They take forever to find the udder. Here we go. Nursing again. 
So basically all timelines are passed. We'll probably give her a little bit of an enema just to help her pass the meconium so that we don't have to worry about it overnight. We'll get her dried off a little bit more and put a blankie on her. No names are chosen yet. We've got a long list to go through, but we'll do that later. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a later problem. We're tired and sleep deprived right now. I know, Julie, what will we do with all these full nights of sleep? It'll be wonderful. And the best part about the alpacas is that they normally have their babies during the day. Yeah, between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And usually on a nice day. <laughs> yeah, if everything could just have their babies between those times, that would be great. Chocolate makes cute babies, I'll give them that. Don't you ever. I just can't get over like they're so like poppy case. Like, mm. She's got a few extra white marks, but she still looks so much oh, like she's blue. Blue. If anyone has any questions, ask them now. We're probably going to turn off the live feed here shortly. The YouTube live feed will still be up, but the Facebook live will stop. We will post it on YouTube for everyone later as well. Yes, she does have black tips on her ears. Oof. You're going to shake your blankie right off. Hello, little miss. There's a wall there. Again, thanks for watching everyone, and that's a wrap for foaling season 2024. It's 14 babies on the ground. Thanks for watching.